Wow, guys, you have no idea what's coming next. I look forward to tell you about it. I already know I'm going to talk a lot, so I'll get right to the story. So, um, Marika, Manhattan, and Dorian arrived uh, at Kidian's place in Cynthia, and they are finally meeting Kidian. And in this, in, in, in this first part of the story, Kidian is acting really weird. I mean, it's always strange, but um, he's, he's, I don't know, it's, it, it's just really annoying. I didn't like him, he's rather cringy as well. Um, so, um, Kirian, as soon as he sees um, Manhattan, he's like, he is running to him. I, 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 um, I hinted at it last time, at the end of the video, I think. Um, he goes to Manhattan and he's like, Hi cutie, what's your name? You know, stuff like that. And I'm like, what? That's so fucking weird. And Manhattan was like, cutie, me? And then he's like, ah, oh, you reeks of alcohol and cigarettes. <laughs> um, and, 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 yeah, because cause Gideon is like, um, are you here to take me with you or something? And Marika says, yes, he is, and I am too. <laughs> and Gideon looks at her with, with um, like, he glares at her. Um, and he's like, who are you? <laughs> and don't get in the way. <laughs> I'm thinking, what about Julian? <laughs> that poor guy. Um, and Manhattan tries to, you know, calm down um, Marika and Gideon. Because Marika as well, she's getting a bit annoyed at Killian um, already. <laughs> the worst is yet to come. Um, and Manhattan shows um, Killian both the names, so to say, yo, you come into the second world with both me and Marika. And Killian is like, Jesus Christ, this, the, the characters are being so annoying in this first pass. I, I, I think I really, I really wanted to emphasize um, uh, the how, how much Marika and Gideon are gonna hate each other's guts. <laughs> um, and Gideon says, like, wait, what? So the three of us are gonna go to Second World? Is it even legal? And I'm like, why? What kind of question is that? Um, and Marika says, of course it's legal. What's not legal is you trying to hit on an underage boy. <laughs> and Gideon's like, what? I'm not doing anything of the sort. <laughs> Um, and then Julian arrives, <laughs> thank God Julian arrives to save the situation, and Kinder turns and runs into his arms. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with Julian? Because he's like, oh, no, sorry, with Kidian. He's like, oh, Julian. And Julian is like, oh, Kidian, um, are you still drunk? Can so everyone knows about Kidian's alcohol problem. Can someone please help this guy? Because... <laughs> Also, because I think I already mentioned it, but Gideon will quit drinking with such disarming ease that it's rather disturbing. But anyway, um, and then again, Gideon is being so weird. I mean, I get it, he's drunk, but that's this, this is such a very morbid behavior. Um, he, he he pulls Julian by the shirt and drags him to Manhattan, and he points at Manhattan and is like, Look, Julian, isn't he adorable? <laughs> What? <laughs> Thank God Julian is like, uh, sorry, he didn't mean that. Kidding, you cannot say these things about a person. <laughs> um, and, uh, and, and, and then Julian is like, um, so you guys here, you know, to go with Kidding to the second world? And Malika says yes. And Manhattan shows him both names. And in the description that's written that Julian is shocked, but I don't think he is, because to Mar Marika replying, yes, we are here to, to go with get into the second world, Julian just says, I see. I'm sorry, is that the reaction of someone who is shocked? I don't think so. Also, doesn't he study, oh no, actually, in, 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 a, in a bit, oh, we'll find out, um, Julian studies medicine. So, I guess they also study cancer? I don't know. I thought I thought he was specialized in cancer, but no, he's not. Um, and also, I mean, 
I would, I would, I would think he would, should be way more interested and shocked, um, and way more interested in the fact that there are three people becoming cancer instead of the regular regular number that is two. So I don't know. That was that was a strange reaction. And then yes, the connection uh, is complete when uh, Manhattan uh, shakes uh, Kilian's hand when he introduces himself, and again the the the. Uh, it, it says Achillean holds Manhattan's hands to shake it and feel, and he feels something inside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wonder we will, if we'll ever find out um, what what is it that they are feeling exactly. Um, then he also shakes, um, he, he, he and Marika uh, glare at each other for a moment before shaking each other, each other's hand and completing their connection too. So now everyone has their, the, the other two, the, the name the names of the other two people in the uh, in the, in the, in the and bond um, and then Dorian also extends his hand his hand and he's like and I'm a Dorian <laughs> he's like you too <laughs> no I'm just here to accompany them um, and then I like it <laughs> then I don't know what they do oh yeah I think they have lunch or something um, and no before before lunch uh, Rose is like uh, uh, prepared rooms for you and Kitty uh, no and Marika and Dorian they go to the room and they just chill a bit and I like it how everyone has um, socks ready for them so for Dorian uh, he has socks with ducks and Marika has socks with parrots <laughs> and Manhattan is wearing unicorns patterned socks so they go, they, they have lunch together. Um, Marika says, did you put that article on the newspaper just to show off or to actually help Manhattan finding you? And Kieran says, of course the latter, but a bit of the first one too. <laughs> um, so so they, they have some strange exchanges, uh, Marika and Kieran. So we can already imagine, you can already imagine the relationship between Kieran and, and Marika will be a painfully difficult one so get ready for the, the most stupid arguments that are gonna come out of this relationship Manhattan then asks who is Kolod Roskov um, and Kiri says well that will be me <laughs> uh, so moi so you okay um, and Manhattan says I know but like where does the name come from and Kiri says nowhere in particular and Marika says you're not good at lying and Kilian says, I'm not even trying to. I think he needs some more booze. Anyone want some? Mm, I am. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, take notes of all the things we'll probably never find out. So No, okay, maybe, maybe we will find out why Claude Roscoff. But I have, I have this feeling it's not particularly relevant. <laughs> but anyway... Um, and then, because uh, Kidian just asks uh, if if anyone wants some, he just says booze. So I don't know. He, he pours some alcohol in his glass. I I, I don't really know what what is it they're drinking. Um, There's just written alcohol. <laughs> um, and Dorian says yes. Julian says yes also. And Marika says why not. And Manhattan says okay. <laughs> and then there's Marika and Julian that like super against. Manhattan drinking some okay it's white wine okay it's white wine um and I'm like you know okay maybe if it was a not even if it was a cocktail um but but just just a glass okay Jesus is he's 16 it's not like eight or something um and they, su they are super against um Manhattan drinking I'm like Monica are you are you a mom are you a nun or something um, but eventually they, they, they say, okay, you can have one glass. And two hours later, Manhattan and Kirian are sitting on the sofa talking and laughing like idiots. Obviously, Kirian, what do you mean, obviously? Uh, Kirian managed to get Manhattan drunk without the others noticing. And I'm wondering how. <laughs> and Marika's wondering the same. She says, she says, how did he do that? Manhattan seemed fine 10 minutes ago. <laughs> That's a strange, strange thing. Um, and Julian says, I think he has a secret technique. <laughs> what? And Marika goes, is he always like this? I mean, drunk. And Julian says, Oof, often, yes. Can someone please help Kirian getting out of this, of his alcohol addiction? It's not good that no one is doing anything. Um, and then Marika... Um, okay, Marika, Marika asks this question. 
She goes, do you mind if I ask if something happened, as in, if something happened to Julian, sorry, to Gideon, uh, for him to be an alcoholic? Um, and at first I was like, why has Malika become so nosy all of a sudden? But then I remembered, I remembered, uh, we will find out, we will find out later um, why she's being so nosy. Um, but I was like, this is so out of character, like... <laughs> Why why asking such a personal question to someone about someone you don't know to someone you don't know either? It's such such a strange thing. And Junior says, um, I'm not sure. He's been like this for a long time. This is even worse. So in in all this time, you haven't helped him at all. Julian, you are the worst boyfriend ever. You might not deserve a Kidian, but still. Um and then they 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 keep talking and, and Julian says, You and Manhattan seem nice people. How do you know Julian? <laughs> um while this is happening, Julian, uh, Kidian is drawing moustache on is drawing a moustache on Manhattan's face with a with a marker. And Julian goes on saying, I'll admit that getting kids drunk is not a virtue. <laughs> I'll scold him for that later. <laughs> But he's a very loyal person. He has a hard time getting close to people. But once you can cross a barrier, you'll have gained a great friend. Really? Can we really trust what Julian is saying? Is saying because we haven't really seen any of that. Um, obviously, Julian is talking about Kirian. Um, and then he says, "What I'm trying to say is that the only friends Kirian has are me and Rose." <laughs> mm, very promising. Um, Marika says, "It's not that I don't believe. It's not that I don't believe you." But it's not showing any signs of improvement. <laughs> because Kirian is drawing a penis on Manhattan's forehead. <laughs> and Manhattan asks him what he drew, and Kirian lies, saying it's a pony. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Marika asks Julian what he does, and um, Julian says, I study med medicine. And he asks her, What do you guys do? But at this moment, Dorian, he w because he was Dorian was sleeping on uh, Marika's lap, and at this point, uh, Dorian wakes up and he stirs and he's like, "Oh, I'm so tired." Blah blah. So he, he interrupts the conversation, um, and they go to, oh, they all go to uh, bed, bed, bed. They all go to bed. <laughs> um, uh, the day after, Dorian and Marika they wake up early when they want to go for a run. Dorian wears socks with bananas on them, and Marika with canned beans. And I, I must say, I really love these ones. I would love to have. I already have socks with bananas, but I would love to have um, socks with canned beans. I would love that. Um, right, so Marika and Dorian go out for a run something, because Kirian clearly lives in a, in a mansion with a, like, surrounded by woods or something. Um, we, we, we see now uh, why Marika was being so nosy about Kirian. I still think it was a bit too much because you cannot just ask a random person, hmm, so why does your boyfriend have an alcohol addiction? That was very strange. So um, Marika asks Dorian, what about Kirian? Were you checking his file earlier? Because Dorian was like on his phone or something. Um, and he says, yes, his parents don't live in the Cynthia anymore. They moved to CDC many years ago. His father is, a re is retired as the head of a big corporation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, what kind of... It doesn't, it doesn't really matter, so I wouldn't even ask the question. And his mother is some sort of princess. No siblings, homeschooled, started his career as a designer four years ago when he was 18. Okay, so Kirin is 22. If he was 21, well, it doesn't really matter. No criminal records, just some bravado when he was drunk. Okay, and uh, Marika asks, and about Claude Roscoff? And, I mean, uh, wait, because uh, Dorian says, no idea. Igor said he could find some Claude Roscoff, but he had nothing to do with him, with Kirin. And I'm like, why? I mean, <sighs> this this whole thing is screaming there is something up with the name Claude Roscoff, or like there is something up in general with Kirian, okay? Because normally, no one, literally no one, would wonder why someone shows a specific artistic name to call their company. So, yeah, whatever. 
and then Marika says, I feel there's something off about him. <laughs> and you're the one to talk, Marika. You, you, you and Dorian are criminals. Um, and then they just keep running, blah, blah. And Marika thinks, I wonder if Gideon went to see his parents. And again, I mean, normally Marika wouldn't think something so, something about, uh, wouldn't think about something so trivial, considering she saw her mom and sister for like five minutes before leaving them, saying, okay, bye, mm, I'm never coming back. Um, but <laughs> I clearly needed to let the reader know something is up between Keaton and his parents. Um, something is up with Keaton in general. Um, but um, we'll, we will find out. I don't know about Claude Roscoff. If we'll find out. <gasps> Wait. <laughs> you know, I was... <laughs> the more I read, the more I remembered stuff. Even though I was still able to surprise myself. Um, going, <gasps> oh my god, what, really? Um, and just now, I think I have a faint memory of who, who Claude Roscoff or where Claude Roscoff um, came from. But, I don't know, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, but anyway, Claude Roscoff is not particularly relevant to, this, to the history of Gideon, I guess. Um, but anyway, we, we, we will find out a lot of the backstories way ahead in, in, in a story. Um, anyway, then uh, it's, it's lunchtime the day after. They are outside in the garden, they are having a barbecue. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> um, Manhattan is wearing socks with spoons. I would love those socks as well. Um, and Kirian arrives and is like, he's devastated by by yet another hangover. Um, and Julian is like, oh, Kirian, you look gorgeous. <laughs> and Kirian says, shut up, cigarettes. And Julian says, I told you I left them on the bedside table. Uh, this is Gideon going like, oh, it took me like two hours to come down the stairs. And Dorian says, go to Marika. If you ask her politely, she'll give you one for sure. Does Marika smoke? Have we seen Marika smoking before? <laughs> this is not particularly relevant, but I'm wondering, hmm, I didn't know Marika smoked. Well, okay. Um... So, so, yeah, Dorian says, go to Marika. If you ask her politely, she'll give you one for sure. And Gideon says, yeah, and I kick in her balls as well. <laughs> Probably, yes. <laughs> so Gideon goes to Marika and Manhattan, and he's like, can you, Marika, uh, give me a cigarette? <laughs> Marika's like, what? All that effort just to ask me that? So what? Nothing here. And Marika just gives him the cigarette. Um, and Kirian doesn't say thank you, so Marika says, don't worry, you don't have to thank me. And Kirian says, and I won't. Why is he being such a bitch? He's so annoying. And, and in fact, in fact, is that the, he, he gets under Marika's skin so much that it makes Marika annoying as as well. So it's it's a mix of... Characters just being annoying for no reason whatsoever. Uh, I, I hope it, I, I think the re their relationship gets better throughout the story, but I think at the beginning it's just so just a bunch of whatever. Um, and then yeah, Manhattan tries to bring back peace among them, um, and he's smiling or something, and Kian is mesmerized by his smile that he thinks so cute. <laughs> Gideon, you have a boyfriend. Julian is literally standing. <laughs> like three meters away from you. Um, and he's talking to Dorian, who says, um, so the, 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 the night before, Kirian, uh, sorry, Julian was um, talking about Kirian to Marika, and now Dorian is talking about Marika to Julian. Um, and he says, you see, Marika is very stubborn, but she knows where to stop. When she sees someone even more stubborn than her, um, she can't keep it, she can't help it, but see herself in them and try to stop them, or at least make them reason. I don't know, I, it's, just, it's such a weird, what's all this confidence? Like, when when have these people become best friends that they are just confessing each other's secrets or something? Um, and then uh, Dorian and Julian, they joke about the fact that um, Marika, if, if, if Manhattan 
wasn't there, Marika and Keaton would have already, <laughs> I don't know, killed each other or something. <laughs> and then Julian and, Marika, and Dorian think, take care of them for us, Manhattan. We have faith in you. <laughs> um, and then they're having lunch. Again, these people just eat. This, this, this two chapters is just them eating. Um, and Julian says, what do you guys do anyway? I know you're still in school, Manhattan. How do you know? <laughs> Did he tell you? Um, so okay, from now, th th this is gonna be this action scene. I mean, um, because uh, I will see, we'll see uh, yet another face of Manhattan's character, and I think that is his true nature. But I can't be sure. Anyway, because this happens, okay. Julian asks what Marika and Dorian do. Manhattan looks at Dorian and Marika and he thinks, what will Marika tell them? So I guess he not only realized that Marika and Dorian are shady, but he even recognized the Gwiazda bullets. Very clever, Manhattan. Because I think at, at, at this point he knows that the, the security, the, oh yeah, because Ma then Marika replies, we work for the government security department, we can't really disclose too much information. Um, and, and Manhattan, um, he, 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 he figured out that was a lie, okay. Um, and he thinks, same excuse, huh? And <laughs> Manhattan is kind of transforming into like um, you know the collected and clever guy, very uh, like Lelouch or like Yagami or something. And he he thinks, I wonder why they want to keep it a secret. I mean, why are you wondering that, Manhattan? Uh, she's got to tell us sooner or later anyway. You think so? And then he notices that Dorian is staring at him with a curious look. Manhattan looks away and he thinks. Oops, did he catch me? Well, let's spice things up. Manhattan chuckles and rummages in his pocket, because he still has the, he has the bullet in his pocket. Um, Marika and Kirian are bickering, um, and Marika says, I love my job, it's very satisfying, at, and Manhattan takes the bullet out of his pocket, and he says, catch, and he throws the, he has the bullet at Marika. <laughs> and I like this scene. <laughs> it's very Matrix because um, the bullet is in mid air when Marika recognizes it, <laughs> and so do Rose and Dorian. <laughs> How? <laughs> like a bullet is like it's it's not uh, a table, you know? It's 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 a it's a, it's small. How do they recognize it? Um, and Marika is like, what the fuck? <laughs> and that's this scene. <laughs> This action scene. Okay, so the, from uh, I'll, I'll try. Uh, okay, I'll try to to, to make it as um, as full of tension as possible. Because um, because it, it's it's this is a pretty cool scene. What follows is a pretty cool. I must admit that. Um, so the bullet falls on the table and rolls a few centimeters from Marika. In a split second, Rose is pointing a gun at Marika. Dorian is pointing a gun at Rose. A member of the K-Team is pointing the gun at Dorian, and Marika is pointing the gun at the member of the K-Team. They stay still. Manhattan stares at them in fear, realizing what he's done. <laughs> and Rose says, I decided to trust my guests and thought they gave me all the weapons they had, but I should have checked them twice after all. Forgive me, Mr. Kirian, it won't happen again. Um, and Marika asks Manhattan, where did you get it? And Manhattan says, I found it in the bathroom on the bathroom floor. You should be more careful with your possessions. Why didn't you tell me? This is Marika. And Manhattan says, why didn't you tell me? Well, I didn't really know how to put it. At the beginning, and Manhattan says, at the beginning I wasn't sure, but then I eavesdropped you and Dorian in the room, and my doubts were cleared. I thought it would have been better if you said it just once with both me and Kidian present. I guess it must be hard. This is such a, this is a very Detective Conan or Sherlock Holmes thing to say. And Marika asks him, but weren't you scared of me and Dorian? And Manhattan says, why? Don't you guys kill bad people? And Kirian is like, because he, has, he doesn't understand what's going on. He's like, whoa, kill bad people? What the fuck? Mind to explain? And Marika 
instead of saying we are the Biasda group, we are part of the organization, she, I think this, um, this was meant um, as an act of, you can trust me, okay, because she lowers a gun, which is a gun that um, has the, the Gwiazda symbol, which I think was a red star, um, and she slides it to Kirian. So she gives a gun to Kirian to say, calm down everyone, I trust you Kirian, I'm giving you my gun, okay. Um, and at this point both Kirian and Julian realize who they are. And Julian says, so are you one of those responsible for the killings in Barov? The Gwiazda group? Julian looks at them with a disappointed expression on his face. He lowers his gaze. Let me just say that your cause is wrong. Julian gets interrupted. He looks up and he sees Kirian is now pointing the gun at Marika. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, um, wow. Uh, I, that, was, that was pretty cool. Um, I, I hope I um, expressed... Um, how, I don't know, cool the scene, I, I don't know, I, I, I like this scene, and I'm, I'm liking also what's coming after, but, ha ha ha, you will find out only in the next episode, because, yes, because, um, yeah, if not, it's gonna become too long of a video, um, but wow, I'm, I'm so excited about this chapter, <laughs> I didn't think it would have come so quickly, actually, but I'm glad it did, because, um, this is... This has been dragging for way too long. But, wow, okay, so... <laughs> what's gonna happen next, and now that Kirin is pointing Marika's gun at Marika? And also I was thinking, um... I guess Marika and Dorian have... They, they don't only have the Gwiazda guns. Because because uh, Rose did take their weapons, um, but they clearly used the Gwiazda only to carry out cancer-related killings. I don't know. I mean, that's my assumption. I I think I think that's and it, it's not really relevant inside of the story, but I'll, um, that's that's my assumption. Because if if Rose took their weapons and those weapons were Gwiazda, then I mean she would have figured out already who they were um but she didn't so i guess they had second knives uh second knives what second uh guns okay beautiful i'm looking forward to <laughs> to, to 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 this next part it's gonna be uh, i don't know i haven't really read it <laughs> i haven't read it actually but um well many many things will surface and i think it's gonna now it's gonna become a bit more interesting and hectic so let's get get ready for that be ready for that okay okay i've talked i've talked a lot uh today so i'll see you next time ciao ciao